Clinical Scenario Migraine In this lesson, you will listen to and document an encounter of a patient presenting for evaluation of a migraine. By the end of this lesson, you should be familiar with some symptoms and treatments for migraine and be able to document the encounter into a complete chart note. A migraine is an intense headache that can be accompanied by a variety of symptoms. Some people have frequent migraines, while others only have these types of headaches once in a while. The patient in this scenario is Lisa Martin, a 19-year-old female with a past medical history of migraines that occur about once a month. Take some time to review the patient's medications, histories, and vital signs, which have been added to the chart note for you. Before you begin the patient encounter, make sure you have downloaded and opened the blank chart template for this scenario. You can access this directly beneath the lesson video under Templates. This file is designed like a patient visit note and contains all of the sections you will need to document a complete chart note for this scenario. You should keep this template open alongside the lesson video so you are able to document the patient encounter in real time. Students are not able to edit this file directly from the provided link. For editing access, you can make a copy of this template using your personal Gmail account, or you can download the file directly to your computer and open it using a word processor. Use this new blank template to document your own chart note as you listen to the patient encounter. Take some time to set up your screen. Play the video when you are ready to continue. You will document the HPI section first. Hi, Lisa. I'm Dr. Petros. How can I help you today? Hi, doctor. I've had this migraine for hours, and it's really frustrating me. I've taken Tylenol and my migraine meds, but they aren't helping. How long have you been hurting? It's been about 10 hours now, but it feels like forever. These usually only last a few hours. It started with my normal blurry vision and pain in my right eye. The pain just keeps getting worse. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm going to ask you some questions to get some more information. I'll try to keep this brief, since I know you don't feel well. I see in your chart that you have had migraines previously. Does this occur often? About once a month, sometimes more. Okay, and you have a prescription that you take when the headache gets bad? Yes, except... This one isn't getting any better with my medicine. Well, that's no good. Do you know the name of the medication you're prescribed? Yes, it's called Imitrex. Okay. Do you use the pill or the injection? Pills. I have taken two doses so far, but the medicine has barely helped. Do you have any triggers? Anything that you know brings on your migraines? Um, not really. Except I usually get one just before my period but those aren't as bad as the others. The ones I get at the other times, I don't know what causes them. They're usually worse. All right, are you experiencing any other symptoms related to your migraine right now? Light and sound make it worse, and any movement makes it worse too. I felt a little nauseous, but I haven't thrown up any. Okay, let's dim the lights in here a little to try to make you more comfortable. Are all of those symptoms normal for your migraine as well? Thanks, that does help a little. And yeah, all of that is typical. Sometimes I do throw up when I have a migraine, but not always. Okay, is there anything else I should know? Has anything made it better at all? Being still and lying down in the dark has helped some. Quiet helps, but nothing makes it stop. The pain hasn't gone away, just gotten a little better, then worse again. Have you noticed any vision changes or any numbness or weakness in your arms or legs? My vision is a little blurry, but that's normal during these episodes. I usually see stars around lights and flashes behind my eyes when I close them. I haven't noticed any weakness, though. It sounds like you typically have migraines with aura. That's the technical term for what you describe as stars and flashes. Have you had any loss of consciousness, chest pain, or shortness of breath? No, none of that. Okay, so other than the extended length of time, this is a typical migraine for you. No new symptoms? Yeah, pretty much. Have you ever had a migraine that did not respond to the Imitrex before? Yeah, this happens every so often. It's really annoying. 
Do you have another treatment that usually works for you? I don't know. I think it can be different every time. Okay, that's fine. We will figure out a solution. Do you mind if I do a quick physical exam? No, go ahead. Thank you. I'm going to listen to your heart and lungs. Just breathe normally. Lungs are clear bilaterally. Heart sounds are normal with no murmurs, rubs, or gallops. Now can you look at me and follow my finger, please, with just your eyes? Okay, great. Now I'm sorry to do this, but I need to briefly check your eyes with the light. It's going to be a little unpleasant. It's okay, I understand. I am looking for your pupil's response to light. I just want to be sure I don't see any signs pointing to anything other than a migraine here, like a stroke or aneurysm. Good. Pupils are equal, round, and react normally to light and accommodation. Now I'm going to press on your sinuses. You should feel a little pressure, but tell me if you feel any pain. Okay. No pain? Good. Let me check your neck for a moment. Okay, your lymph nodes are normal as well. Now open your mouth and stick your tongue out. Good. No deviation there. Now, have you ever had a CT or MRI since you started having these headaches? Yes, I had one about five years ago when they started happening more regularly. It was normal. Okay, that's good. Can you stand up for me? I will stand behind you in case you lose your balance. Close your eyes and hold your arms out to your sides. I am just checking your inner ear and proprioception. Good, I don't see any problems. You can sit back down. Now I want you to put both your hands against mine and push them down. Good. Now do the same with your legs. Try to push my hands up. Good. Thank you. Your movement and strength are normal and symmetrical, so that's a good sign. You have a normal neuro exam. All right, Lisa. I don't see anything too concerning. It seems you have a migraine that is simply unresponsive to your normal medication. Let's see if we can help you with this headache. I'm going to put in some orders, and I'll be back in a few minutes to talk with you again, okay? Sure. Thank you. Now, you and your doctor are headed back to the workstation. Pause the video here to complete the HPI, ROS, and physical exam sections of the chart. You can also work on these sections during the next portion of dialogue, if you need additional time. Play the video when you are ready to continue with the patient encounter. All right, Lisa. I have a sample here of a newer type of triptan medication. You can chew it or let it dissolve in your mouth, so it acts a little more quickly. I'd like to try it and see if it is any more effective than the Imitrex. I'm also going to put some low-flow oxygen on you. There's evidence that some other types of headaches can mimic migraine symptoms, and some of them respond to oxygen therapy. I'm okay with that. Anything that makes this better. Okay. I will turn the lights off and send the nurse in with the medication and oxygen. I'd like you to lie back and rest until we see if it helps. Do you have any questions for now? No, I don't. Thank you. You and the provider leave the patient room and return to the workstation to allow time for Lisa's treatment to take effect. You and the provider may see other patients during this time before you return to the exam room to reassess Lisa's condition. Take some time to finish up any sections of the chart that you can. Play the video when you are ready for the provider to dictate the assessment to you. All right, so we have a 19-year-old female with a past medical history of migraines presenting for evaluation of a current migraine with an aura that began 10 hours ago and is not responsive to her usual medication, Imitrex, or to Tylenol. She usually has migraines around the time of her menstrual cycle and additional times throughout the month, typically lasting for a few hours at a time. This migraine is longer than usual and has lasted about 10 hours so far. She has associated symptoms of photophobia, nausea, and some blurriness of vision, all of which she reports are normal for her migraine episodes. Her vital signs are all within normal limits, although her respiratory rate and her blood pressure are slightly higher than I'd like them to be, probably because of the pain she's experiencing. On exam, the patient is in mild distress. Otherwise, her physical exam was normal. 
I was initially concerned for possible stroke or aneurysm, but given her past medical history, normal neuro exam, and current symptoms, I suspect this is a typical episode of migraine with Aura that is just not responding to her normal medications. She had a CT scan five years ago to assess the cause of her migraines, and this showed normal results. I don't see any reason to repeat imaging studies today. Here we gave her a dose of rizotriptan and one liter of supplemental oxygen via nasal cannula about 30 minutes ago. As long as she is feeling better, my plan is to discharge her home with a prescription for the new medication. Let's go see how she's feeling. Take some time to finish documenting the assessment for this patient. Now, you and the doctor will return to the patient's room to discuss the treatment plan and answer any questions. Be sure to document if the patient agrees to the treatment plan or has further concerns that need to be addressed. The treatment plan may change after the doctor speaks to the patient. Play the video when you are ready to continue. Hi, Lisa. Are you feeling any better? Actually, I am. I started to feel the pain fade about 15 minutes ago. It's down to a dull ache now. That's great. How's your vision now? Almost normal. Nausea? Completely gone. Wonderful. You have no idea. <laughs> I'm glad you're feeling better. I will write you a prescription for the newer medication. It's called Rizotriptan. Your most up-to-date pharmacy is in our system, correct? Yes, it is. Good. So now that you can think a little better, let's talk about what might be causing these. Okay. Have you ever done a migraine diary? No, not really. I think it would be a really good idea. You can keep a calendar just for this, on your phone or something like that. Whenever you have a migraine, write down everything you can remember about that day. What you ate or drank, where you were, how you slept, that kind of thing. Hopefully, you will start to see a pattern in what sets them off. It might be a food allergy, stress, or lack of sleep. Many women have hormonal migraines. I know you said you have them monthly, but that the ones unrelated to your menstrual cycle are different. Yes, they are. So maybe concentrate on those. Migraines are much easier to prevent than to treat if you can discover your triggers. There are some medications you could try as a preventative measure, but I hate to go there if you can figure out what causes them and just avoid those triggers. Some of the preventative medications have significant side effects. At your age, I would rather avoid them if possible. I totally agree. I will start keeping track of the headaches and try to find out what is causing them. Great. I suggest you follow up on that with your primary care physician. If you don't have one, I will be happy to help you. But your best option is for consistent follow-up with your own doctor. Does this all sound okay to you? Yes, that works for me. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. Do you have any other questions for me? No, I'm just ready to go back home. Sounds like a good plan. All right, Lisa. Take care and feel better. This completes the encounter. Pause the video to finish up your documentation and make any final edits. The complete chart note for this patient encounter is available directly beneath the lesson video under Templates. We will review the sections of this complete chart note throughout the rest of this video. You can check your work based on this chart note. Keep in mind that everyone scribes differently, so small differences are expected in sections that are not dictated by the provider like the HPI. Resume the video when you are ready to review the complete chart note. We will begin with the HPI. First, you want to make sure you have documented a chief complaint. In this case, headache or migraine is acceptable. In cases where the chief complaint has already been entered into the chart, you should confirm that what was entered is consistent with the patient's report of their symptoms. For the HPI, you should first document the patient's history of migraines. Because you have the past medical histories available to you, you could have documented this sentence before these conditions were discussed by the provider. You should also document that her current episode is a migraine with aura. We added details about some of the migraines being related to her menstrual cycles, while those that were not related tended to be more severe. 
You should also include that the patient reported movement, sound, and light worsened her pain, while resting in a quiet, dark room helped. In addition, you should note she had taken Tylenol and two oral doses of Imitrex prior to arrival, all of which were not able to relieve her symptoms. She reported associated symptoms of vision changes and nausea. You should record that the patient reports all of these symptoms are normal for her migraine episodes. She denies weakness, loss of consciousness, and chest pain. Moving down to the ROS, you may have noticed that the provider was running through possible symptoms in the middle of the HPI. It is very common for these sections to overlap through the course of the patient visit, so you want to make sure you are listening and ready to update the review of systems when you have the time. This patient denied most of the symptoms in this doctor's template, so the majority could be left as is. However, you want to be sure that you changed headache, nausea, and vision changes to positives. The physical exam was mostly unremarkable. The provider mentioned that the patient was in mild distress and all other findings were normal. You should add that the patient has a normal neuro exam since this is not part of the template. Be sure to remove any findings for symptoms that the provider does not actually examine. Oftentimes, the physical exam will concentrate more closely on the chief complaint and not include a complete evaluation of all body systems. Keep in mind that this is considered fraud to document care that did not occur. This includes the physical exam. If you are unsure of what was actually done during the exam, you should wait until you leave the patient room and ask the provider for clarification. Now, we will review the assessment and plan for this patient. Make sure that you have a problem statement summarizing the patient's overall health and chief complaint, which the provider described as migraine with aura. You should also mention this migraine is not responding to medications. In addition, you should include that this migraine has been going on for longer than usual since symptoms began 10 hours ago and that all of her current symptoms are normal for her migraine episodes. You should also include the other diagnoses the provider was considering, stroke and aneurysm, and how these were ruled out. In this case, the patient's past medical history, normal neuro exam, and current symptoms all suggest that this episode is a typical migraine not responding to her medications. In addition, the provider does not wish to repeat the CT since the patient had one done five years ago that had normal results. Lastly, you should include that the patient will be discharged home if her symptoms improve. In the plan section, we noted that the provider administered oxygen and a new medication in the clinic. This treatment improved her symptoms, so she is able to be discharged home with a prescription for a new medication. The provider also asked the patient to keep a migraine journal and suggested that she follow up with her PCP. Lastly, you should document that the patient understands and agrees with the treatment plan. This chart is complete with the final diagnosis of migraine with aura. Remember that the visit note will vary between EHR systems, specialties, and individual providers. We hope this exercise has been beneficial in helping you learn the important elements to document and where they should be recorded in the visit note.